Hi there, this is Adam with Geoprobe Systems. Uh, just here today to introduce you to our 6011DT. This is our newest uh, direct push track machine. And so we're just gonna take a little uh, time here to show you some features around the machine. So we'll start here with our uh, GH63 direct push hammer. This is gonna be the same hammer you recognize from um, a handful of our machines like our 7822 and 6712. The machine also has uh, 66 inches of stroke, so you can either use five foot or four foot tools. So our working height here of the machine is at 12 and a half feet with the probe cylinder fully extended. We do have a low clearance cylinder uh, as an option if that is needed. All right, so let's take a look now at our control panel. The design here is gonna be uh, very similar to the rest of our machines as well. We'll have our drilling functions up top and then our positioning functions down below. So up, up top here, we'll have our hammer, and then we'll have our head feed. Then we also have hammer rotation for surface concrete coring. So in the middle here, we do have our throttle switch uh, for controlling engine throttle. And then we have our region switch, which will help increase efficiency of the machine. You will see here, we have a couple options. We have a CPT position, which will limit penetration to two centimeters per second for your standard uh, CPT testing or other direct image tooling. We have an optional uh, two-speed auger head as well that you can put on this machine. Um, coming down here to the positioning functions, um, here is your, your standard fold out for the machine. Then we have uh, your mast dump, so coming up and down with the mast. And then this uh, far handle here will control your blade in the back, which we'll get to in just a second. Um, we do have side-to-side -side, uh, shift of the mast itself, and then you're in and out uh, while you're sampling to use that. We also have here your e-stop on the control panel as well as the pull string e-stop uh, in the front. On the side of the control panel here we do have our uh, storage bin for holding tools while uh, you are operating um, and then as well for hanging some tools down here below. The overall width of this machine is 48 inches getting you into those tight locations for drilling. If you add on this storage bin here on the side it will give you an additional six inches of width, which is still a relatively narrow machine. Coming down here below, we do have an additional valve block that you can hook up uh, with Quick Connect Hydraulics if you have any additional accessories you'd like to use with the machine, and then a, a flow valve here, as well as a detent control on the control panel. So with that, let's go around here to the side. For mobilizing this machine, we have your standard wireless remote, and coming back behind this e-stop is where you can connect your tethered remote, as well as this machine has your manual track controls as well. Coming back, we have your display screen here, which will give you all your machine information, alarms, temperatures, pressures, um, and especially the uh, DPF regen information as well. And that will be a touch screen uh, control as well as the, the manual buttons right below the screen. Coming just a little bit further back, we do have an access door for servicing the machine. This gives you easy access to things like your fuel filter, your oil filter, water separator, and just keeps things really easy for maintaining your machine. With that, we'll go ahead and come around to the back of the machine. Here on the rear of the machine, you'll see we have our standard uh, stabilizing blade. This will be for transporting and setting up your drop rack and other tools. And here on top is where we have our access door for full access to your engine compartment. Coming around now to our helper side of the machine, you'll see we have our tool rack on this side for transporting your rods and your liners. We also have a small uh, working table up here for preparing your tools or for even cutting open your liners. We do have an optional hydraulic extruder that you can mount to the side here. And then you'll see we have our last e-stop here on the side of the machine. Sitting in at roughly 5,000 pounds and four feet wide, the 6011 DT was designed to be a machine that's easy to use, easy to transport, and easy to service. We've taken all of the direct push functionality and power from our other machines and we've wrapped it up into a single, compact, yet powerful direct push unit, a 6011 DT. If you'd like any additional information or have any questions, feel free to visit our website or give us a call.